How's it going? I'm a guest on the Dr. Phil show. How's it going? Uh, hey. What the f- Don't do that. Alright, so we're just now leaving the spot that I parked in last night um, on the side of the road right next to Huntington Beach. And we're heading up to Hollywood Boulevard because we have a hotel room booked for us for the night because tomorrow I'm actually going to be on the Dr. Phil show. So I know I've been hinting about doing something big in LA for the last two or three weeks in my videos and being on the Dr. Phil show is that thing. So today I got to do a bunch of stuff to get ready for that show. So I got to go get my hair cut. I got to go get something to wear. Tonight we have a hotel room that the show booked for us right on Hollywood Boulevard. So we're going to go stay there. And then tomorrow we got to go wake up at 8 a.m. to film. But right now we got like an hour drive into the city from the beach. So I will check in with you guys once I get closer. Why did you moan? <laughs> All right, so there it is. That's the hotel we're staying in tonight. Now I just gotta figure out where the parking lot is. The hotel? Yeah. All right. We're, we're here for the Dr. Phil show. All right. Okay. Why did you tell him that? I don't know, maybe he gives us a special way. I don't wanna pay for it. It's $100, right, for night? You guys take card or is it only cash? Uh, they charge card on what you bill. Okay, perfect. Right. We'll just do that. Awesome, thank you. I gotta grab some stuff out of the back. Got it. Would it be inappropriate to wear Converse on the Dr. Phil show? All right, so valet's gonna be parking our car. I should have packed before we got here, but I didn't, so I had to rush and pack. And now I'm leaving the van, head into the hotel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, have a good one. Awesome, thank you. How do you get this thing back in? Why is this elevator so dark? Thank you. What room are we? So there we go. Look at this view. So we got a view of the rooftop. View in the room is not uh, spectacular whatsoever, but free hat. We got a free hat from the Hoso Hotel Roosevelt, and apparently Dr. Phil stocked us up with a seventy-five dollar food credit. So we're gonna go to the, one of the hotels later tonight in the restaurant and use that. And they gave us free flip-flops. Which I just bought a pair this morning. Oh no, they're $20. Oh yeah, probably so is that. Though. Yeah, okay, the hat is $27, Never mind. <laughs> the hat is not free, the flip-flops are not free, but we got a fully stocked mini bar that I'm guessing if you touch, you get charged. And uh, they made it clear at the desk that Dr. Phil does not allow us to charge alcohol to the room, so we're just gonna be using the uh, $75 credit later tonight for dinner. So I think this might be the restaurant that we go to tonight. It's like a uh, steakhouse that they have in the hotel, but I don't know. But for right now, uh, I haven't showered in two days. He fell in the ocean last night, so he definitely needs a shower. So we're gonna shower real quick, and then uh, I'm gonna get out of here and get a haircut, because my hair looks crazy, and I cannot go on the Dr. Phil show looking like this. So we're gonna get showered real quick, go get a haircut, and then get an outfit for the show tomorrow. All right, now that we're clean, let's go get a haircut. All right, so my haircut appointment is a 20 minute walk away and uh, it's currently 1.50 and my haircut is scheduled at two. So I'm gonna kind of have to book it there. All right, so we made it to the barbershop for two minutes late, but we still made it on time, so now it's time to get my hair cut. That's actually my shirt, I designed it. Shut up, that's super fun. Part of my new merch is I do, I do vlogging. Thank you very much. Have a good one. All right, what do we think? Nice and clean cut, looking good for the Dr. Phil show. Now I just gotta make it back to the hotel, meet up with some of my friends, and then we're going to go to the store and find me an outfit to wear tomorrow so I don't look horrible on the show because I have no nice outfits in the van. We'll head up to the yeah. room. I think we gotta go yeah. around this way. Thank you. I was like, what? Like Dr. Phil? <laughs> I, mean, I wanna go on Dr. Phil. <laughs> 
don't know if this works or not. Catch me outside, how about that? Where did you guys want to go to get um, clothes and stuff? Yeah. I was thinking we could go to the Marshalls or we could go yeah. wherever. How was the pool? Hello. How are you? How are you? Good, Good to see you. Nice. How was the pool? It was nice. What do you think of the haircut? Did you get anything off the top? I got some off the top. I like the top long. Where'd you go to Floyd's? Yeah. So I think we're just going to head across to the uh, Marshalls that's right across the street. See if we can find something for me to wear tomorrow on the show. And it's literally right across from the hotel. Like there's the Hotel Roosevelt. There's the Marshalls. Yeah. You go home a lot? So I don't know what I'm going to wear. He said it's like not like I don't need to wear a suit, but like just professional nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try I'll try a couple. So I'll get these and then I'll get a dark pair. What size is that one? Is that slim fit? XL slim fit. Alright, we'll try these ones. All right, so I think I narrowed down my options between the khakis and these two shirts, but I gotta figure out which shirt. This is what the black looks like. What took you so long? I had to try on a bunch of different shirts. That's nice. Oh, I yeah. like that. Let me see. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's a winner, yeah. Okay. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, good. Would you like to sign up for DJX? You can see it in person off. I'm good, thank you very much. The mic will be on the phone right now. All right, so we just got back to the hotel. Spent the whole day kind of hanging out on Hollywood Boulevard. Met up with some of my friends. They helped me pick out my outfit for tomorrow. So what I decided to go with is this black shirt, this black collared shirt, these khaki pants, and then this black belt. And then I'm gonna wear my uh, Converse's as my shoes. So nothing too fancy. Uh, I don't really like dressing up fancy, so it works for me. And the Dr. Phil show said that they have a full wardrobe at the studio, so if they don't end up liking what I wear, They'll just put me in something different anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. But it is currently 7 o'clock, and I gotta be up at 8.45. I gotta be up at like 7 to make it to the show by 8.45. So I think for the rest of the night, me and my brother are gonna be hanging out in the hotel room. He's already laying in the bed. And maybe go down to the hotel bar and just kinda hang out in the hotel for the rest of the night. Today's the day we go on the Dr. Phil show. Get up, Justin. We gotta go. So Justin's still in bed. I'm walking down the street to uh, go grab myself a coffee real quick before we have to go get the van from Valet and then head over to the studio. And I'm not really sure how it all works. I think they have a buffet there for us for breakfast. So I'm not gonna eat before I get there. And I really hope they let me bring my camera into the studio to like film what it's like before the show. I don't think they'll let me bring it on stage obviously, but I'm hoping they let me bring it in to get a little bit of footage before, uh, before I go on stage. But I guess we'll see. All right, so the line at that coffee shop was way too long. So I'm just gonna head over to Target and grab a uh, pre-made drink and then get back to the hotel room so we can get out of here. All right, I think we're ready to go. Justin's still getting ready, so I'm gonna go pull up the van real quick and get it ready, and then we're gonna just head over there. So it's currently 8.15 a.m. We gotta be there by 8.45. So we're leaving at like 8.20 to give us a little bit of uh, wiggle room just in case we're late or we run into any traffic or something, but we should be good. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am extremely nervous. Thank you very much. Have, have a good one. Hopefully they have an iron there. Why? Just look at my band. They're fine. All right, I think we're finally ready to go. It's like 10 minutes away. I put on a pump up playlist just so uh, I can calm my nerves a little bit, but uh, we're heading over there now. 
I'm a guest on the Dr. Phil show. Yep. Awesome, thank you very much. Yep. Alright, so we just got to the parking lot. Um, now I gotta call the producer and then they're gonna come pick me up in a golf cart or something. I don't really know what happens from here on and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film, so the video might take a break here and then I'll check in with you guys when I'm done, but if not, you guys are gonna be coming with me. Hey, how's it going? I just pulled into the lot. Awesome, sounds good, thank you very much. He He's coming. on his way. <laughs> All right, so we're just waiting in the parking lot for him to pick us up. How's it going? Hey. How's it going, do you mind if I record? All right. Okay, awesome. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is this where they do those tours? Uh, yeah, I mean, they do tours a whole lot, but this is where they shoot the stuff that, like, doesn't look like it was filmed in LA. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so they told me I'm not allowed to take any more videos, so I can't videotape while I'm in here, but I'm in my dressing room right now, so I can get the short one, and then I'll get a bunch of clips as I'm going throughout my day whenever I can. But yeah, this is probably gonna be my last video until we leave here. All right, so they left me in the room again, and it's kind of nice. It's got this big mirror up front right here. It's got a, uh, a bathroom in here, couch that Justin's laying on, and then another big mirror right here. Uh, and they told me that they're gonna come take me in 20 minutes to go to hair and makeup and then wardrobe where they're gonna change me if they don't like what I'm wearing. Um, and I guess they're gonna put powder on my face or something, but, but I think we're heading over there in like 20 minutes and then we're gonna go in the show and start filming. And he said it should take roughly an hour and a half from the start of filming to the end. So I will check in with you guys once I get done with that and let you know how it went. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They, 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 they do do tours back here, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? That's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. Alright, so after I got out of the show, my camera mic was dead and I didn't realize it was, but basically I took the uh, producer and he wanted to see my van, so I showed him my van. And then he was asking me questions about the uh, topographic map that's on the outside of my cabinet, so I told him it's Ryan Mountain and Joshua Tree, and I was explaining to him how I put it on there and stuff. And then after we said goodbye to him, I hopped back in the van and started talking about how the show went, and it went really good. I was just kind of confused because... The, the topic that we were talking about really wasn't what I thought we were going to be talking about and I'm not sure that I was arguing the right side of it and it was just kind of really confusing but I spoke very well, I had very good talking points and I think I did well overall and I'm excited for it to air. It's supposed to air on September 29th on CBS so if you want to go check it out you can. Uh, I'm probably going to record it and then post a bunch of clips from it. But yeah, overall it was just a super cool experience and basically after they took me to hair and makeup they kind of lined us all up so the way that the show is set up now it's kind of rebranded so it's not like a therapy show or a, or a uh, show where Dr. Phil counsels people anymore it's more of a debate where they talk about social topics so I can't really discuss what the topic was about for our show until it airs so I can't really say anything about it but basically I had three people on my side and then there was three people on the opposing side and we sat in the room with Dr. Phil for just about an hour and a half and debated the topic that we were discussing and it went really well. I think I, I made some good points and, and I'm really happy with how it came out. I was really nervous at first, but right after I said my first words and kind of spoke up, it, it became a lot easier after that and, and my heart stopped racing, so it was really cool. Also, the guy that was driving us around in the golf cart that took us from the van to the set and then from the set to my van, his name was Spiro and he's one of the producers on the show. And he was really cool and me and him were talking pretty much the entire time. And afterwards I texted him and asked him if he wanted to go get lunch somewhere in the city because me and my brother didn't really have a plan and he was like yeah sure I'll meet you at this uh, at this taco restaurant that down the, that's down the street so we drove down there we met up with him we had some lunch we talked for like an hour and a half and he was a really cool guy and then after that me and my brother left and we packed up the van and we drove to Laguna Beach to find a campsite for the night
All right, so this is where we're camping tonight. It's right in this spot that's on this uh, pretty beautiful park in Laguna Beach. And we're just gonna be sleeping right here. And then we'll move it in the morning because these are paid spots, but they're only paid from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it's after 6 p.m. So we don't have to pay till tomorrow morning. So I'll just move it in the morning and we'll stay here for the night. But I appreciate you guys coming with me on this adventure. It was super cool to go on the Dr. Phil show. It's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity, but I'm super tired. It's been a crazy couple days. So I think I'm probably just gonna go hang out on the beach and then go to bed. So I will catch you guys next time.